God. And I look at it now and go, you jerk. Frustration and anger from a man who says he fell victim to a house painting scam and now he's out $1,600. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Now, the victim called our whistleblower hotline and told us the painter in question had a long list of criminal charges and even an arrest warrant. Valley News Team's Christine Stanwood met with the victim and tries to find the answers. Dwight Dahl was eager to do some small remodeling to his home, beginning with a fresh coat of paint on the outside. Similar, a little bit darker, a little brown trim. Uh, we've got a bay window being put in here in about a month or so. Earlier this month, Dahl says he checked out the Forum newspaper's advertising section, called a few painters, and settled on Tom's painting. He met with Tom Dolman at his home, who gave an estimate of $3,200. Two days after that, Dahl says Dolman asked for half of the money up front, saying he needed it for supplies. Dahl wrote him a check and says an hour later, Dolman cashed it. Dahl tried to reach Dolman, but says he got his voicemail. To feel like you've lost that money just right now. And it's just, it's like, where do you go from here? So we decided to give Tom a call. Hi, thanks for calling Tom's painting. We're not available. And we got the same voicemail. That's when we decided to go to Tom's painting ourselves. 1206 Monte Carlo Drive is listed as the address of Tom's painting. After no response, we decided to dig a little deeper into Tom Dolman's past. We found out that he was charged with operating without a contractor's license in North Dakota, along with more than a dozen driving-related charges. He put on a real good show, you know, so, uh, you know, it'll take a little bit before we decide on another contractor. Dahl says he hopes that no one else gets scammed. You know, get a life, man up. You know, you get people's livelihoods and you just have it in your hands and you just swipe it away from them. In Moorhead, Christine Stanwood, Valley News Live. So what's next for Dahl? Well, he's taking, he's taking Dahl, uh, he's taking him to small claims court and hoping that he gets his money back. We also reached out to the forum's advertising department on their policy, but we've not heard back. Now, if you ever need help uncovering fraud or corruption, in your community, call our whistleblower hotline 701-237-6576. Leave your tip and a member of our investigative team will then get on the case.